Hello, Dr. Joe here of the AskDrJoe.org and the 2020Forum.com. So here's the thing. A lot of the probiotic supplements on the market today are pretty much useless. They offer you little to no benefit in return for your money. So what I have done in this very video is provide you with viable alternatives. You're going to be getting natural food sources of probiotics in this very video. And you're going to get a total of eight different foods. That's what's on offer in this very video. Watch this. Probiotic food number one is sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Now, as you know, sauerkraut is usually made from cabbage. You ferment your cabbage in a controlled manner and you end up with sauerkraut that you can enjoy. Probiotic food number two is kimchi. Kimchi. Now, that is a Korean kimchi pancake that you're looking at. How lovely is that? Probiotic food number three is tempeh. Tempeh. Now that's a tempeh being chopped to add to meals. And that's one very easy way to enjoy your tempeh. Uh, you can actually use it as a meat substitute. And you will be changing your gut microbiome for the better at the same time. Probiotic food number four is miso. Miso. That's miso soup there that you're looking at. And uh, you can see that young lady there enjoying her miso soup in a Japanese restaurant. Probiotic food number five is pickles. Pickles. Now you're looking at different jars of pickles there. Um, you can pickle practically all sorts of vegetables. And when you're done pickling your vegetables, you can slice it up, add it to meals, and enjoy. Probiotic food number six is nato. Nato. Don't forget that you can learn to easily make your own nato by fermenting your soybeans, uh, as you know, in a controlled manner. Okay. You have to know how to do it, and it's very easy to learn. So um, once you do that, you can enjoy your nato. Probiotic food number seven is kefir. Kefir. Now, that's kefir that is being filtered through a strainer. And what you get, the resultant filtrate, is something that you can drink and change your gut microbiome at the same time. Lovely. And probiotic food number eight is yogurt. Yogurt. Now there is nothing like a beautiful, well-made natural yogurt. When it's well-made like that, you can enjoy it to the fullest. And not just that, you'll be changing your gut microbiome for the better at the same time. Lovely. Okay, so before we continue, just a quick plug. Uh, this is my book on managing high blood pressure with lifestyle approach. Links to get the book right below this very video. So, um, there you go. Eight nice sources of uh, probiotics for you there. Uh, hopefully, you got some value from this very video. 
Uh, if you did, uh, please give the video a thumbs up, please like the video, and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. If you've got any questions, any comments regarding the content of this uh, video presentation, go ahead, leave your comments and questions down below. By the way, never forget to go to askdrjoe.org. Over there, you can ask your questions and also show your support for this very channel. I think that's it for this very video. Until next time, this is Dr. Joe signing out.